I have great news, everyone. According to a recent poll I read, we are finally entering the great era of a conservative majority government. And also, according to a report recently that there will be 22 new seats in the House of Commons um, being added so that we'll have less possible opportunity to have any more socialist, separatist, coalition-loving government and more strong, stable, um, family values loving majority government and it is expected the new seat will benefit the conservative government and as the incoming majority conservative government we all been waiting for I just want to make the following pledges that I will support this government unconditionally um, the first pledge I want to make is as a hard-working citizen I will continue to work harder and longer so that we can support more cooperative tax cut so that CEO can continue to increase their earning more than 201 times increase in their compensation in the past decade and I will continue to support um, economic growth so that children, single family, fathers, mother, men and women and most family can be forever shut out from the economic prosperity and the gap between the rich and the poor will continue to rise during recession, jobless recovery or a period of economic growth. And I also want to make a second pledge. It is that as a proud citizen of the Harper government, I want to um, pledge to support my continued support for the conservative writing so that they can receive more federal stimulus funding because they damn well deserve it. Um, as a proud Canadian, I also want to continue to support uh, friends and loyal donors and loyalists of Stephen Harper to be appointed in the Senate and the federal board, such as the Fed Canada Pension Plan Review Tribunal, Employment Insurance, Referee Board, uh, Immigration and Refugee Board, and the Parole Board, because conservative supporters and loyalists damn well deserve it. And as a taxpayer, I want to pledge to continue preventing left-wing, equality-loving group um, to receive any federal funding to fight against discrimination through the Court Challenges Program. It has been too long to tolerate gay and lesbian, to treat them as equal. They have become way too cocky. Have you seen a gay parade lately? No more money for them. And abortion is becoming too accepted. Women are becoming way too uppity and arrogant. And they're being paid too much. And the court challenges program right now is too wasteful. And we must um, turn back our time and support organizations like Wheel Women so that we can oppose women's right and same-sex right and we'll finally tell the rest of the new Canadian what it's really like to be a Canadian. And as a citizen of the world, I want to continue to denounce the brutal violence of the Iranian regime and support Israel unconditionally, even if it means unconditionally supporting the expansion of Jewish settlement, the blockade of Gaza, using mental dart and missile plane and tank to penetrate human bone and attacking residential area, water well, rooftop, water tank, chicken farm, police station, and business factor as an act of legitimate self-defense. And as a peace-loving Canadian, I want to continue to support George Bush's legacy of torture and the operation of the Guantanamo Bay Detention Center so that we can continue to torment alleged terrorists and Canadian citizens while they never had a chance of a fair trial. And I just want to say God bless Canada.